Hi, everyone. It's Professor Fernandez, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit more about things that are opinion versus news articles. I know you've probably already watched the first video where I talked about the differences between an opinion piece and a news article. I'm going to go ahead and show you some examples of each one and then show you where in the databases you can find them. Um, so the reason why I want to show you examples of them is simply because if you're in my 1302, um, even if you're in my research 1302, you're going to need to know the difference, specifically if you're doing journals. If you're writing journals, I require you to write journals um, and to look for the context of the thing or the context of the topic, I should say. And a lot of what's being written um, is having a conversation with something else. You're going to hear me say that a lot. What is this piece having a conversation with? And what that means is what topic is it addressing? What topic is it adding to the overall thought and conversation? Is it talking about civil rights? Is it talking about racism, prejudice? Is it talking about environmentalism, politics? Um, is it talking about oral conservation? There are lots of topics and more than likely the piece that you are reading and responding to has more than one topic. Um, more than likely, you're just going to be asked to pick one topic. I'm not going to ask you to respond and find the context to all the topics because I'm frankly not trying to read a 50 page paper from everybody. However, you're going to be asked to choose one topic that you see that is being addressed in what we are reading. So um, you'll pick that topic and then you'll see how that topic is manifesting itself in the real world, which is why you need news articles and not opinion articles. You don't want people's opinions about what's going on. You want to see what's going on. So I'm, I'm going to start off here with the New York Times. And the reason why is because they are actually really good at labeling what is news and what isn't news. So this flashing uh, video aside, on the left-hand side, you will see um, four lines, three lines here, and that's the menu here. Of course, there's a menu that runs along the top right here, and then there's a menu here. Um, and so you'll see that they're really good at labeling their sections. They even have an opinion section of, of which we will go into. I'm going to go into the science section and this is science news, right? So maybe the piece that you're talking at, that you're reading has something to do with snakes or the evolution of things, right? And snakes finding a new way to slither totally tells me that snakes are evolving in a way that is so scary. So let's click on that. And let's look at the um, the first paragraph, which is usually when we can tell. Now, people like to look at the headlines. You may know these as titles, right? These things right here um, as titles to kind of think to see whether it's an opinion or not. I wouldn't go down that far. I would read the first couple of paragraphs, specifically the first paragraph. Now let's recap some of the things that we that we use to determine whether something is news or not. We know that the news will give us the news of the day. It'll tell, tell us to who, what, when, where, why, and how of the thing. It will be written in third person. There will be no first person, so no use of I or we unless it's in quotations. It will quote other people because remember, it is not a scholarly article. So there is no bibliography or works cited page, no footnotes. How they cite their sources is that they literally quote their sources. So they'll be quoted sources. So let's read this first paragraph and let's guess whether this is news or opinion. 
In 2016, on the northern tip of Guam, two biologists, Tom Skerritt and Julie Savage, challenged several brown tree, brown tree snakes to a battle of wits. The arena, a concrete pen with narrow metal pole, the prize at the top of the pole, two mice, a seed cake, and a potato in a cage. The potato and seed cake were for the mice. The obstacle, a three foot tall metal stove top, stove pipe baffle cinched around the pole like a cummerbund. Okay, so is this news? Is this opinion? Some of you are going to say opinion. And the reason why you said opinion is probably because of something called tone. We discussed this in the first video. Tone is something um, where the writer chooses words. So they use their diction to use words that are loaded or words that give an opinion, right? Not direct opinion, but it sounds kind of loaded, right? So tone can be something like, go read a book, right? If I say, go read a book, it sounds nice. My tone is nice and light. If I say, go read a book, my tone is very harsh. Same sentence, the tone changes it. It's the same thing in the written word too. Now, you're probably saying it's an opinion piece because we have a lot of description here. We have something that's cinched around a pole like a cummerbund. We have the potato and seed cake were for the mice in, um, in parentheses, which is an aside here. But I'm going to challenge you and say, no, that's not tone. That's a description. News pieces can have description and it's important that they have description, description, especially if what they're describing is about the news. So let's talk about the who, what, when, where, why, and possibly how. So just in this first paragraph, we have a time element, 2016. We have the who, Julie and Tom and the snake. We have the what's going on, which is this battle of wits. We have the where, this arena, we have the what, um, the obstacle, and uh, the how we don't quite have yet. I highly suspect the how is the actual article. This, my friends, is a news article. It's not a straight news article. It has some description in here because they have to describe this pen where these snakes are doing the thing. But this is actually a news article. Let's look at another one. Staying with science, actually, no, let's go to, I want to pick something that isn't straight news, like U.S. world politics. Um, let's try NY, because that's just a give me. <laughs> All right. 150 foot vessel sculpture at Hudson Yards closes after third suicide. Okay, so this is the headline. We're, we're using the headline kind of to give us an idea of what this possibly could be, but not using it to decide whether it's a news or opinion piece. So what we have here, let's read the first paragraph here. The vessel. The spiraling staircase at Hudson Yards and Manhattan's far west side was closed to visitors on Tuesday, a day after a 21-year-old man jumped to his death in the third suicide in less than a year. Oof, okay. Well, this is a news piece. It's a very straight news piece. You have the where. You have the where is right here, the vessel, which happens to be, oof, which happens to be on Manhattan's far west side. You have um, the what? It was closed when? On Tuesday. Why? Because a 21-year-old man jumped to his death in the third suicide in less than a year. Now, the how, again, was probably answered in the rest of, of the article or may not be answered at all. I don't anticipate them talking about how it was closed. Um, I, they just turned the lock. 
but maybe that's an interesting thing. I don't know. I haven't read this, um, but this is for sure a news article. There is no first person, so it doesn't use I. It doesn't use we for sec uh, for the other person. It uses third person. Um, there is no tone used here. It's a straight news story. So let's look at this one. I pulled an opinion piece, and this one is most obviously an opinion piece. Um, Again, the New York Times is really good at labeling their opinion pieces. They're not always going to be labeled. So right now, what I want you to do is just forget that the word opinion is there. Forget that this is labeled as an opinion piece. And let's evaluate this. So looking at the title, why should we ever return to living and working so close together? Again, we can't evaluate just from the title whether it is a news piece or an opinion piece. We really have to do our due diligence by at least reading the first paragraph. So let's read the first paragraph. Right here. Cities, you may have heard, are toast. The argument is straightforward and seemingly incontestable. The coronavirus thrives among close cluster clusters of human beings, and nowhere are humans clustered closer than in big cities. The virus's toll seems to make the connection plain. New York City, the most populous and most dense urban area in the United States, was also the first to be devastated by the virus. Okay, so let's consider, does it give us the who, what, where, when, why, and how of the thing that they're talking about? Well, they're talking about New York City, cities in general, New York City in particular. The what is the coronavirus thriving in clusters, right? But it's not really a what, right? It's not a big news event. It's just the coronavirus. It's very general. When? Well, it doesn't really tell us a when. What? Well, corona. The how? Well, not really. So it only answers a couple of those questions. Now let's look at whether it is in first person or second person or third person. So again, you don't want to use I and you don't want to use we, but it uses the word you as in you, right? So cities you may have heard are toast. Oh, nope. That is definitely not third person, right? So that means that this is an opinion piece, but let's keep going. There's definitely a tone here. Look at the word choice, the diction that's being used here. Straightforward and seemingly incontestable. You have some alliteration here. Alliteration is the same consonant sound over and over again, over a phrase or over a couple of, of words. Um, so straight, straightforward and seemingly incontestable, right? You have that S sound. Um, coronavirus thrives among close clusters. You have that C sound and that S sound, uh, more alliteration. So the diction being used here or the word choice being used here is a little bit loaded, right? So it doesn't necessarily mean that it's angry, but it's definitely not passive. It's definitely not a tone that says, here's the news right? This is a tone that says, I'm, I'm talking about things and this is my opinion, right? Um, and so we have here definitely an opinion piece, right? So you see how you can tell the difference between news and opinion here. You really want to read the first couple of paragraphs, more than likely the first paragraph. I want you guys to see the second paragraph here in this opinion piece, because Opinion pieces, really good opinion pieces, actually have pieces of news here. So this one not only has news, but links out to um, news articles that the, the New York Times has written. Um, so it's basing its opinion, its argument on fact. So sometimes it's helpful um, when you have an opinion piece that's based on fact, especially if they've linked out to other articles. Let me open this in a new tab so we can see it. If they've linked out to other articles that may be helpful to get, um, a news article. Cause sometimes, um, sometimes an opinion piece will link out because they are 
based on they have an opinion based on fact but they link back to the facts so um here we are this right here before the coronavirus three of new york city's largest commercial tenants barley's jp morgan chase and morgan stanley had tens of thousands of workers in towers across manhattan now as the city wrestles with when and how to reopen executives of all three firms have decided that it is highly unlikely that all their workers will ever return to those buildings this is a news piece dun, dun, dun. see how that works so it may be that you see an opinion piece and that opinion piece is linked to a news piece and so you can do that so let me show you where to find some of this stuff so of course you're going to go to the lsc website and you're going to hit libraries and libraries are awesome i love libraries and our library is pretty cool because we have some really good databases so you can scroll down to um kingwood and go through the kingwood go to the kingwood website um library website and go to the databases or you can hit databases here and do that i actually prefer to go through the lse kingwood um library website mostly because um i like to see what's new um i like to see what new resources and services that the library is having um especially like d2l help you may need it the library does it so I like to scroll through here to see what we got. Okay, so now I know all the services that are here. I'm going to look for, ooh, sorry, on the right hand side, I'm gonna hit research databases. And I'm going to go, you can go to literature, but the database that I'm going to be telling you, talking about is in current issues and news. So I'm gonna click on that. So you'll be using that to do your journals, but for other things, you'll probably be using the literature databases. I like this because I'm specifically looking for articles that are news articles. So I'm gonna click under article, and there are two databases you can use, academic search complete and opposing viewpoints. For the journal specifically, I tend to like opposing viewpoints a little bit better because you can search for specific news articles a lot better than an academic search complete. So let's look at opposing viewpoints. Of course, you're gonna sign in. You can put your library code, uh, the barcode, which is your ID, or you can sign in with your D2L information, just like I am. And my internet is slow. Okay, so here we go. Opposing viewpoints. Say I'm going to do something along the lines of racism, right? Maybe that's the topic or the theme of the story or essay that I read. I'm just going to go there. Now, racism, there's a lot of sub, there's a lot of lot of topics under racism racism by itself is a subject there's prejudice there's racial profiling there's housing practices there's a bunch of things i'm just going to do the big subject racism and maybe i'll be able to narrow it down from there or maybe as i'm reading i'm looking at racism but i'm really thinking prejudice or i'm really thinking um housing practices or i'm thinking something else so it just depends on what you're reading but we're going to use racism as a subject right now just for the use of this so we have all this uh, we have a really nice primer of it um this right here is not an article you want to use so you don't want to hit read more and say hey this is my article no it's not this is just basic information where you want to go is stuff like here. So you have academic journals, um, which are like scholarly journals, which gives you a lot more information. They're peer reviewed and peer edited. Um, you don't want those necessarily for your journal. You want news. And we have here 
13,000 news articles. So let's just click on news. See where it takes us. And again, I apologize for my internet being slow. I'm just happy to have internet. Okay, so we have a bunch of news articles here, right? And then we also have right here, more topics under here that deal with racism. You can scroll down, there's lots of stuff here. Maybe you wanna be more specific. I will always say you should go be as specific as possible. And so there are definitely lots of here document types. And as you're looking here on document types here, you want article, right? Here, I'm gonna explain these things to you. Brief article means very tiny. It's maybe less, 300 words or less. Broadcast transcripts are literally the transcripts of news, of broadcast news, TV news. Editorial columns, letter to the editor, essays, letters, correct, um, all those are opinion pieces. Correction notices is when somebody gets something wrong and they have to correct it. Um, obituaries, viewpoint essays, you don't want any of this. Discussions, you don't want any of this. You want news. Movie reviews are opinion pieces. Book reviews are opinion pieces. You don't want none of this. What you want, my friends, is an article. You want the news. So you apply. Hit apply here. And now we are down. Okay, we're down from what, 11,000 to like 9,000, I guess. <laughs> it's still a lot. So again, you can go and look through all this stuff. You can see where it's from. I like, um, you can say that this is from Melbourne, Australia. I tend to like things that are, are in the United States. So you can filter this more by going here to your filter results here. You know that according to your um, assignment sheet, you don't want anything more than a year old. So definitely from January, 2020 to uh, December, 2020 or January 1st, I should say, 2021, something like that. You don't want it more than a year. So apply. We took it down to 2,700 views. And then you want to look at newspaper sections. And again, you just want news. You can yeah, actually have business news and maybe sports, but you don't want opinion and editorial. You don't want lifestyle. You don't want arts and entertainment. That narrows it down to 1700. See how it just comes down, right? And so you really want to do it by, um, by subjects, by newspaper sections. You can also sort here by relevance and you can go for the newest one. So it'll start in 2020. Um, if you don't do it, the newest one will start in 2021. And so now you have something you can actually start looking at. Inquirer editorial board, it's time for Philadelphia to reckon with historical racism as an obstacle to preservation. All right, so this was definitely an opinion piece because it says editorial board, um, but it could be a news piece. You can click it, see if it holds muster. How a courageous Southern governor broke ranks with segregationists in 1961. This is from the Washington Post. That may be interesting. For indigenous women, systemic racial bias in prison leaves many worse off than men investigation. This is from the Globe and Mail. So this is a lot of like international news. Again, I personally prefer US, um, but that's fine too. So this is one way to do it, right? And you can search for a bunch of things. Um, it's really gonna depend on what you put here in this search, right? If you had me for 1301, we talked about keyword searches. This is a really good keyword search opportunity for you. If you didn't have me for 1301 and don't know what keyword searches are, 
please refer to your nearest librarian for they will help you with this. Okay. Now, the other database you could use is Academic Search Complete. You sign in just like you would with Posing Viewpoints. And this is a really good one because it's a nice general database. So let's start with racism. And of course, it does a lot of subs. I'm going to say racism in America because I want to kind of narrow it down to one country. Not quite certain about any racism anywhere else other than in America. All right. So we have 3,200 hits or 3,200 hits here. And so on the left hand side, you want to make sure it's full text. You want to make sure that it's from the last year. So take it all the way to 2020, 2021. And then you want newspapers, right? Usually newspapers give you news. Um, you could do magazines. Book reviews again are, I know it says book report, sorry, book reviews here. Those are opinion pieces. Academic journals are good, but again, you want news. You don't want scholarly articles specifically for the journals. For your research papers later on, you may want to use those. Um, and then you can go by different subjects here. I kind of want to keep this general. Um, and I have 174 from 3200. So I can um, go through all this and, of course, read it. So let's see. We cannot wait for white America to end racism. That kind of tells me a little bit that it's... Uh, oop, let's reload that. Um, that it may be a uh, opinion piece, but again, you can't tell from the headline, so you're gonna have to look through here, right? You're gonna have to read the first one, the first paragraph, or the first couple of paragraphs. Again, and already tell by the second paragraph, I watched the video of George Floyd's murder and completely lost it. This is an opinion piece. So even when you ask for news or you actually ask for things from newspapers, you still may get opinion pieces, which is why I taught you how to distinguish between opinion and news. Okay, so that should be enough uh, to get things going here. Let me know if you have any questions about anything or need any clarification.